Question three. Chen uses these digit cards, five, six, and nine. She makes a two digit number and a one digit number. She multiplies them together. Her answer is a multiple of 10. What could Chen's multiplication be? Well, what I've done is I've written out all six combinations of these numbers with a two digit number times by a one digit number. So we could have, if we begin with the nine, we could have 96 times five or 95 times six. If we begin with the six, we could have 69 times five or 65 times nine. And if we begin with a five, we could have 59 times six or 56 times nine. They're the only six combinations that we can have. So let's just work them out and see if any of our answers are multiples of 10. So obviously having good knowledge of your times tables is going to help here. So five times six is 30, put the zero in, carry the three. Five nines are 45, plus the three is 48. Six times five would be 30, put the zero in, carry the three. And six times nine is 54, plus the three is 57. Moving on to the blue sums, nine times five is 45. Put the five in, carry the four. Nine times six is 54, plus the four is 58. Five nines are 45, put the five in, carry the four. And five sixes are 30, plus the four is 34. Now for the green ones, nine sixes or six nines are 54. Put the four in, carry the five. Five nines are 45 plus the five is 50. Six nines are 54, put the four in, carry the five. And six fives are 30, plus the five is 35. Now, in yellow, you can see that we've got all of our answers written down, but we're looking for something that's a multiple of 10. So obviously, if it's a multiple of 10, it means it's gonna end in a zero. And we've got two answers right here that do actually end in zeros. We've got 480 ends in zero or 570. So as for writing in our answer, the 480 comes from 96 times five. So that would be an acceptable answer. Or the 570 comes from 95 times six. And that would also be an acceptable answer. Now, if you think about it, it does actually make sense because the end two digits, which are the six and the five, six and five times together makes 30. So that's why you're going to end up with a zero on the end. Whereas if you think about the end digits on the other sums, nine fives makes 45. So you're going to end up with a five on the end. And nine sixes makes 54. So you're going to end up with a four on the end. So the only combination where you would have a multiple of 10 or a zero on the end is if you've got a six and a five in the two units columns here. And that would give you 30, which is gonna give a zero on the end. And if it's got a zero on the end, it's gonna be a multiple of 10.